Yeah! What's up, guys? Whoop! Food, food, therapy, food, food, therapy, therapy, food, food, therapy. I hope you all remembered us, and if you didn't, yes. I will refresh your memory. That, oh my God, that is a Stephanie from D for Licious. And this is Siobhan from Siobhan Spark Up Kitchen. Oh, whoop, whoop. Kitchen. Whoop, whoop. And we, we are, are so excited back. to be back today. Guys, I apologize we for are. last week. I was I was coming down with a very, very bad cold and just didn't feel that it was uh, apropos to be, uh, you know, cooking and snotting and all kinds of stuff on food. Yeah. Therapy. But anyway, That's but we are right. back today and we have so much exciting stuff to talk about. Oh my some gosh, new developments. Yes, that we're going to yeah. be implementing um, in the fall. We are, uh, so due to travel and vacation schedules over the next three weeks, we're taking a hiatus from our show, uh, but we will be back on September 26th, our no, guest. August. August. Oh, August. August. Wait, thank you. Thank you. August 26th, and we're going to have a very, very special guest, and I'm going to let Siobhan tell you about, we're going to, about this laughter yoga we're going to implement on that episode. Tell them, Siobhan. Yes. Well, we are going to do, uh, you know, I'm all about the laughter, and I am a certified laughter yoga leader, and that is one of the aspects of Siobhan's Spark Up community, and we are going to be doing 10 minutes of laughter yoga to start us off uh, on our August 23rd show, 27th August show. 20 26th. August 26th. August 26th. <laughs> August 26th. <laughs> we both got we're it gonna, wrong. We're going to be doing um, 10 minutes of laughter yoga to start. And if you have not tried laughter yoga or you don't know what it is, I do live yoga, laughter yoga on my page, on my personal timeline every every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Plus, actually, I'm holding a laughter challenge right now in my group 10 days of laughter. So, uh, yeah. So I'm and really I love, to, uh, to that point, I love the clips that you've been sharing every day. And like, I had never heard of the Graham Norton show. And I was literally laughing my ass off, you know, with, with, uh, with his guests. And it's amazing how yeah. hilarious a lot of actors and actresses are that are not in the comedy realm of acting. Oh, I know. That's the thing, right? Like, the, uh, and Graham Norton, for all those watching, if you haven't, and you can go into a really dark, deep, well, fun and deep rabbit hole. Because once you start on one Graham Norton video, they all oh, come yeah. up and they all come up and they all come Kinda up. Kind of like TikTok. And he's a, he, yeah, he's a British talk show host and, you know, and they're a little casual over there. They got their, you know, their beverage going and whatnot. And the things that come up on this show and you see celebrities in such a different light. It's not like, it's not, and they're our celebrities, like they're worldwide celebrities, but mm -hmm. there's a whole different energy over on Graham Norton's show than yeah. say, Jimmy Fallon or anybody mm -hmm. else. So. Mm -hmm. um, yes. so what are we making today, Steph? We have a OMG girl. We yeah. yeah, I know. I love it. Um, this is Siobhan's recipe, and it is a Caesar salad with crispy tofu croutons. And let me tell you what I'm going to do with mine. Okay, so okay, the other day, five, it took me five hours to make. I had like, what was it, nine, 11 jars of, uh, no, nine jars of homemade tomato juice for my home for That's my right, homegrown tomatoes. I just had my first glass today. OMG, I make the best tomato juice on the planet. I and do. anyway... But my stove was going with pots. My oven was, was on, even though it was on at 200. My house got up to 77 degrees. Oh I am an God. I am an in unit. I am an in unit in a town home, and there are yeah. no trees around my unit. So oh, at my, my okay. house, my air conditioner has not shut off in four days. Even at oh night, it does God. get down to the temperature yeah. that I have it set, but it stays there. And by the morning, about ten o'clock, it starts. My house just starts to rise, no matter no oh, matter what. No. So yeah. um, I'm going to be air frying my tofu, Ooh, my tofu nice. croutons. So tell us about uh, this recipe. I know this is your recipe, Siobhan. Yeah. So this is because I'm. Uh, because I was, I don't really like hard crouton bread things. I did, I've never understood croutons. And I am mm -hmm. vegetarian, although I'm using anchovies in my thing. Um, and this was a recipe, I, I actually combined a few things um, for crispy tofu. And I took, I'm taking tofu and I am, I, I poured some avocado oil on it because you want a high heat 
you want a high heat oil because that'll crisp it up in the oven. And uh -huh. I have tossed it with nutritional yeast, which is yes. full of B vitamins. And it's yes. so good for you. And uh, it, it really has kind of the flavor. It's a savory, uh, it's a savory taste, a new dami. Yeah, flavor umami and yeah. Uh, yeah, umami. Sorry, udami. I'm thinking I'm I don't know. <laughs> udami. Uh, yeah, udami. Yeah, and it's uh, Italian seasoning and salt and pepper, and it is it just makes these croutons a little savory, and it's got an Italian and cheesy flavor to it. So I've just done up a few croutons because. I really like these fresh out of the oven for my Caesar. So later on tonight when I'm making it for Graham and I, uh, I'll re I'll do some more croutons up. But for right now, I'm just doing a single thing because I really like a warm Caesar salad. I like I like to put warm things on my Caesar salad because I like a cold Caesar salad too. But having a warm Caesar salad is just I don't know. It's just to make the lettuce gets a little softer. And, right. So I'm gonna. So put I my I right cannot in find here. my uh, avocado oil. So I'm going to use and plus I'm not baking. I'm going to air fry. So I'm going yeah. to do my olive oil and I'm adding my nutritional yeast now to my croutons yep. and Yum. yeah this is a, a a vegan way of having cheese flavor and it is amazing how how um I, I how almost identical um the nutritional yeast will will um will taste as far as oh a cheesy God. flavor i, I mean it's it. amazing I put, I put nutritional yeast on my kale chips and also popcorn it is really, uh, yes, really good we do. on popcorn. I do it on well. popcorn, yes. With some like and, cayenne pepper and, and a little oh, bit of garlic yeah. powder. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh my god, you can make gourmet popcorn. I never buy popcorn. <laughs> the gourmet stuff. So I'm spicing up my um my tofu now. Oh, you all right? Nice. Arms arms wide. Arms wide opens up the lungs. Oh, is that what does it? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, opens up the lungs. So That's I don't have an know. Italian seasoning, so I'm just going to add a bunch of Italian seasonings. Got yes. some oregano, got some basil. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, sea salt, and black pepper. The other thing about our fun Caesar salad is that while our to tofu cooks, bakes, that Stephanie and I are each making a different Caesar salad uh, yes. dressing. Because as you know, there are... Um, there are creamy salad dressing, creamy Caesar salad dressings, and vinaigrettes. And Stephanie is Stephanie over here. <laughs> I said Stephanie. Ooh, nice. Yes. Uh, Stephanie is making a creamy Caesar salad dressing yes. with uh, Greek yogurt, and I am doing it more the um, the traditional way with egg yolks and anchovies and garlic. Uh, yeah, so I'm mixing that up right now as we speak. So Stephanie, do you want to tell us anything about your trip to New York? Like, okay, so for me, a small town girl from Nova Scotia, and uh -huh. living out here in BC, when you say you're going to New York, it's like I almost think you're famous. Oh my God, you're going to New York City. Only uh -oh. a, I can only dream as a small girl to go to New York City. So how was your 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 adventure? OMG, Siobhan, let me just tell you, have you seen the stand-up comedian? He has a Netflix special. His name is Ryan Hamilton, and his Netflix special is called Happy Face. And it's oh, ironic right. that you say something about, you know, oh, New York City, like, what are you famous now? Because he talks about how people, because he's from a, a town of a thousand from Idaho, oh and he's, he's in New York. He's new in New York, and he's talking about how people from New York think that they're just they can just move to any town. And oh, I, I'm the mayor. Oh well, well how, why are you the mayor? Oh, because I'm from New York City. Oh yes, here's our key to the town. And he and he makes fun of how like New Yorkers. I mean, one part he says he goes, you know what? New Yorkers are like. I guess there was a, a song an Ita by, by an Italian guy. Um, Oh, God. Oh, God. Famous, famous, famous Italian singer back in the 50s and 60s. Anyway, uh, and he wrote a song like, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Oh, D uh, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Yeah, I, I told you. He's like famous, famous. And he says, 
I'm from a town of 1,000 in Idaho, and I don't think you could make it here. He goes, oh, yeah, so he wandered off looking for gluten-free cupcakes three days ago, and, and <laughs> now we find his body. Anyway, Ryan Hamilton, Happy Face, it's one of the most hilarious stand-up comedy shows you'll ever watch. I mean, I scream, clap, laugh, and I've oh seen it ten God. times. But anyway, so wow. my trip in New York, girl, I've got a lot of video. So it started out with me, you know, I arrive, uh, Clemen so, you know, a couple of Clemenza's friends picks me up from the airport. We go, we, get, we, we pick Clemenza up, we go to his sister's house, and it was just a zoo. It was chaos, but in a good way. Everybody I met was absolutely phenomenal. All of his family, all of his friends, they're, they're, they're all high energy, just like me. They're all nuts. They're all fabulous and, and it took y'all let me tell you Sunday dinner with Clemenza that's a six seven hour process it took us seven hours and then what you see is 30 minutes yeah. but it took it took all day but it was so fabulous and we got the we got the episode done and um the food was absolutely outstanding I made my paleo pizza he made this uh this um zucchini rotini and um oh god oh this watermelon like salad it was just amazing so and then he just took me around for like the next three days we went to the gym every day um he, yeah he works out at a lifetime fitness so we were there Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then on Thursday uh, we all I also went down to like the Jersey Shore and I haven't been able to put my video together yet right. but I am I've got all this stuff to create a video it's just a matter of sitting down so then Thursday I, I take the Staten Island Ferry I go over to New York City I meet my girlfriend uh, Tina who is oh my god she's amazing I love her so much and for three days in the 95 degree heat we just walked all oh, over New York City and I stayed at this hostel and that was an incredible experience and the proceeds that I paid to stay at this hostel um, went to feeding the homeless. Mm -hmm. So on Friday I morning, that. I joined them. And, and not everybody that even came through, um, you know, because they served like this vegetarian pizza that had avocado, orange peppers, this curried mm -hmm. rice dish, and then this banana cake. Everything was absolutely delicious. Of course, we all got to eat at the end. And yeah. um, one thing I will say that I will never do when I'm in New York, especially when it's a thousand degrees, is take one of those uh, electric bites, e bikes, even oh. though you're pedaling, <laughs> because... Um, yeah, because you're always stopping and start. Like, you might get through one light and get through another, but then you're stopping at another light, and it's like, oh, my God, and you're, I mean, I'm dripping sweat. Um, my favorite place that I ate in New York City was Vino Tapas. I'm dying to go back there. Tyler and I are going to return to New York in October. Oh, um, yeah. You know, it's funny. Um, I'm not going to, well, I, I'll just refrain in saying one of the biggest things I did while I was there. Let's just let that be a surprise. But um, New York was absolutely outstanding. It was so much fun. I was with Clemenza and, and you know, his friends, and we would go. We had some of the best sushi. Oh. We had, like, some of the best pizza. It was just it was just a fun, fun time the whole time. So, yeah. Yeah. What's oh, up, wow. Linda Jordan? Hey, girl, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for joining. Yeah, I gotta, and, and that being said, oh, my God, um, I've got to. Uh, so when do you leave on your motorcycle trip, Siobhan? Well, you know, we leave next Saturday. So a week from Saturday. But the problem is so the issue we're having here in British Columbia is that uh -huh. we're going through a drought. We uh. have not had rain in over 40 days. We're a rainforest, and the interior of our province gets very hot. They can be up to 10 degrees hotter than us, and wow. we're going through our second major heat wave. We've had temperatures up in the 80s, 80s to mm -hmm. 90s all July, oh. and what happens in our province is in the interior is that we get wildfires, and generally... Oh. From August on, there's wildfires going on, and the air gets really smoky, and it even travels all the way into Vancouver. Yeah. But what happened, because we've been so extra dry, is that these wildfires have started a month earlier, and oh, they're not going out. No. So oh, little no. towns are being evacuated, and, oh, and that's no. where we're going on our motorcycle oh, no. uh, there's two couples me and my husband and another couple uh -huh. on their motorcycle and that was our plan we have everything booked but our problem is we're riding right into fire territory and if it's not on fire then there's smoke everywhere and it's so unpredictable that mm -hmm. we don't know 
Plus, there's been a COVID outbreak in the interior as well. Um, so I'm seeing uh, more and more people start posting about COVID, getting well, because, this Delta yeah. variant or something. Yeah, exactly. And I think for here in Canada, it's because we took away the mandatory masks and not everybody's mm -hmm, vaccinated. So I think that that's what's happening. And Okanagan and Kelowna, where the outbreak is, is wine country, right? So everybody right. likes to go to wine country. Uh, that said... <clears throat> That was our plan. And we're camping the whole way. So we're outside nice. the whole time. Well, oh my God. And, well, but except it's fire and smoke. <laughs> and somebody, well, that's yeah, the that's whole thing, right? So we're having a meeting this weekend to decide if we're going to go to the interior, which is looking more and more that maybe not. And do uh -huh. we want to be riding around outside in smoke where it feels like you're smoking a pack of cigarettes a day? Right. Or right. go to Vancouver Island. Now, Vancouver Island is a lot smaller. Everybody's going to Vancouver Island. But the thing of it is that I, if any of my Vancouver Island friends are listening, uh, we may actually, instead, if we can't get camping there, is camp in, in people's backyards. Now, we already have two offers, uh, two backyards. Uh, two friends, two sets of friends who have offered their backyard to us. Right. Graham's sister, my 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 sister in law and brother in law, live in one of the places where we would go, and uh, they've offered their backyard to us. And, right. You know, not that we want to camp in people's backyards. But if we decide <laughs> to change our plan, uh, which we'll do this weekend, we're going to see where we can get camping, and that's our backup plan, right? People's right. backyards, right. and just to use it as as sort of a uh, of a of a base camp right and from the base camp then we can go all these other places because the island is fairly small so you right. can do lots of day trips you can do lots of things from from wherever you are so right but we are going for two weeks and we are taking our motorcycles which is so fun and exciting because i've never done a camping motorcycle trip before uh, you know, and I am uh, this weekend, I am practicing packing everything because, of course, everything that I'm taking for two weeks is fitting into a duffel bag, like a, you know, pretty much like a gym bag. Right. And so, yeah. So that's where we're going. And, well, we don't know where we're going, but we know we're going. That's the only thing we're sure of is that we're getting on our motorcycles and we just don't know if we're going to be heading east or west. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. You know what? You know what I love, Siobhan? is that you're not letting it stop you from modifying the plan. You're not oh, stopping no. the plan. And I think that that's a very important lesson for today because sometimes we get derailed and we get thrown off track. Well, how is it that we, how is it that we handle that getting off of track? Do we let it derail us and we quit and give up? Or do we yeah. go, or do we find a new route to then, because at the end of the day, it's about the end result and the big picture. The end result yeah. and the big picture is that you go on vacation and you have a good time with your friends. Yes. Yes. Well, that's so, the whole thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah. may it's change. Like well, you know, I, I, Graham and, and, and our friend, like I, I work from home and the other gentleman that we're going with is retired and he does his own, like he's got his own side business, but it's, you know, it's my husband and our friend who are right. in an office in a, in a company. So they've already booked this time off. So it's right. not like we can say, okay, well, let's screw that. And you just have your holidays exactly. at another time. So yeah, we're just going to make do, make the best of whatever happens. Straight into a medium bowl. Okay, I'm going to whisk in my... My croutons have, are looking good. How are yours? Mine are looking good, too. I need to flip mine over in just yeah. a few minutes because halfway through cooking these croutons that are in the oven for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, um, I'm probably going to shorten mine, except now I can't reach my oven. Okay, you know what? I'm going to flip this. With yeah, so we had a little bit of a snafu with our earbuds today. I couldn't find the the pair that work extremely efficiently and tell Siobhan, tell them your little story. All right. So um, if you're following along on the saga of Siobhan and technology and Siobhan and my computer, <laughs> you know that my computer is duct taped and it's got a little bit of half a screen and I've just been procrastinating on getting a computer, but not anymore. Graham and I are buying one on Saturday. However, uh, I went to reboot my computer, uh, getting my earplugs to work and my computer would not turn back on. So now, once upon a time, I would lose my 
shit over that, right? And I would be like, <laughs> oh my god, na, 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 na. and what I did, I to keep myself grounded, and I've done this before, is I started to sing a song, and this song goes like this. I'm not going to lose my shit over this. I'm not losing my shit over this. I'm not losing my shit over this because A, I knew I had to go on. Like we were going live in, in 15 minutes. So that thing, the show must go on. Yeah, right. the show must go on. And I, the last thing I wanted to do coming back in two weeks is coming in hot and bothered and upset and like worked up. Because what's the worst right. that happens? We, we come on five minutes late, right? Like the, right, the when, exactly. I, when you replay, when you play the scenarios, like what's the worst that happens? Okay, Siobhan, what's the worst that's happening here? You're late. That's the worst possible scenario. At well, least you show up. On fire. At but least at least, at least we show up. But my behavior, I mean, this is a talk about reframing behaviors. Mm -hmm. I used to have those neural pathways that I came mm -hmm. across technical issues like that. And I would cry and I would get emotional yeah. over it. And now I'm really like, I could feel that happening. But it was like, it was like I had to stop and go, Siobhan, you're in control of this right now. You are in control of what you do in this next minute. You can cry and stomp and start saying, fuck this and fuck that. Or you can start to sing your song of I'm not going to lose my shit. And that's exactly, exactly what I did. And here I am. So that's why the camera. And, here we, are. and here we are. Yes. Uh, so uh, needless to say, I'm using my husband's computer. And again, thank God I had a backup, right? And worse comes to worse, we would have used the computer computer microphone, but that sounds terrible because you get all the other sounds. But again, you know, I had, um, I had resources. I had things in place. Right. Okay. Right. I'm just going to, I'm flipping So my, my Caesar uh, dressing. So guys, I made my Caesar dressing with Greek yogurt instead of mayo and all the other yeah. ingredients were pretty standard. And I used a fresh, um, grated Parmesan cheese. Um, but it is yeah. really tasting absolutely amazing. And oh, I also added the zest of my lemon as well as yeah. the juice. Oh. I'm going to add just a, oh yeah, y'all yeah, know me. I, when anytime I'm using a fruit, I always use the oh, zest yeah. of it. A citrus I, I fruit. I'm going to so add a little bit more Worcestershire. This is my Worcestershire. tofu so far. I'm oh, just yeah. going to put it back Looks in good. now. And I'm going to continue on my Caesar dressing. And again, yes. like I say, I love putting warm croutons or warm. Yeah. I used, to eat, I used to eat chicken. I used to do a chipotle, uh, a spicy chicken chipotle Caesar salad, which was delicious. I should do that with, uh, with tofu. Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm going to... Well, you know, Siobhan, when you my, sent me this recipe this week, I got really excited because I love really crispy tofu because really yeah, crispy tofu takes on the flavor of whatever it is that you're creating and that crispy, yeah. pillowy, you know, the outside crisp with that inside pillowy yeah. consistency and texture is just... To, my, to me, it's mind-blowing. So hey, we got some more comments. Uh, Lyndon Jordan says, you are making me hungry and Joe Dale says, yeah, Hey, glad to see you. Yeah, girl, I'm glad to see Hi. me too. Whoop, whoop. Hi, Joe Dell. How yeah. are you? So, hey, just one minute. I know people, we got more people on than we did at the very beginning. So, on the 26th, when Siobhan and I resume our show, August 26th, we have a very special guest coming on. Her name is Nancy. She's fabulous. She's like a, you know, a mindset uh, life coach as well. And we're going to do a 10-minute that day, y'all, August 26th. We'll advertise the absolute crap out of this. We're going to do a 10-minute laughter yoga. Y'all, laughter yeah. yoga is so so much fun. How many, t how many, how many of your laughter yoga parties have I been a part of Siobhan? I like, oh, like probably like 10, I mean, a good, probably 10, At you know, yeah. and yeah. I mean, I can't get on every single one of them, but it's like, no, I love getting on there and we have such great feedback from those and, and sometimes they're just laughing at us, but that's fine. I mean, not like laughing, ha ha at us, but kind of oh, like, no. oh my God, because when, when you do the laughter yoga, it is something so outside of anything that a lot of people are used to doing. So it seems like, wow, that is odd, but guys, the more odd things you do, the more things that you do that are not in line with anything that you've ever done before, the more you expand and grow and the more receptive you are to more new and exciting things. Yeah. That's just how I see it. I actually encourage people to laugh at me because yes. I, I bring yeah. my comedy to the table when I come. And I really think that that's what sets me apart from other laughter yoga leaders is the fact that yes. I bring my sense of humor and I drink. Yes. Comedy is not required for laughter yoga to enjoy and participate on the, on, on the participants or the leaders. However, right. 
I am naturally funny. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying that I am. So I automatically just bring that. Girl. And you know, I can tell. So the other day I was doing a laughter yoga. I did I did one for the Chartered Accountants Association and I uh -huh. did, a, uh, I did uh, they were having a, an online conference all day. So I had a morning group and then I had an evening group and I could see, like, I could see they were like, they were like, oh my, cracking up at me. And that's the thing I say, I don't care whether you're laughing at me or with me, as long as you're laughing, I'm doing exactly. enough of this stuff to crack you up. So of course you're going to be laughing at me. I mean, all I have to do is say, okay, we're going to do elephant laughter. You know, and so oh. they're laughing at me because I'm yes. a grown woman being an elephant. Right. But you being know what? It, uh, being just, yeah. yeah. Um, Linda Jordan says, what are you guys making? Linda, we are making a oh my fresh, God. so we're both doing our own different uh, Caesar dressings. Yeah. It's a Caesar salad with crispy tofu croutons. And our croutons um, are, like, I did mine, well, we both did them with, like, our turmeric powder. Um, I've got mine in the air fryer. I just tasted yeah. one. It's super crispy. And, like, garlic powder, onion powder, sea salt, oh, crack so pepper. Yeah. Is that your Caesar? Oh, my God. It looks it's dressing so far. I'm not even done yet, oh, but it, it looks, looks amazing. amazing so far. Yeah. But that's what we're making, and we, um, we'll um post the recipe later. And, Siobhan, remind me, how many of these episodes have I sent you? I know I saw where you downloaded onto your uh, YouTube, the paleo brownie one, but I know yeah. I've sent you at least three others, but you know, it takes, so I can't just like send you the file. I have to, it takes about 20 minutes for it to download yeah, into a Google yeah. and then yeah. I'm able to send. So that's why, yeah. So I've gotten two. I've got the green bean salad one too. Cause I, yeah, yeah. Cause I only, I only just recently asked you to start sending me them. So, okay. I, so I think there's only been two so far since I asked. So Okay. All right. Well, cool. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It, it does. It. You know. I'm. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of. Where is my? Where is my pepper flakes? Oh, I'm going to add a little bit of oh, pepper flakes. Yeah. Pepper. I, like, I like to be creative. I like to do things I, a little too. bit different. You um, do. So I'm going to add a little bit of pepper flakes to my seeds. You're like that ain't Caesar dressing. Well, this is called oh the step God. funny version right. of Caesar dressing. Caesar. Caesar. Oh, you remember? In, Caesar. Remember in the Hangover? Remember in the hangover when they were in the first one, when they get to where they're going to be staying at the, the Caesar's palace yeah. and, um, and Alan goes, so is this the real Caesar's palace? And they all look at him like, what? <laughs> that movie was on. That movie was on Comedy Central recently. Oh, was it? Or maybe it was FX. I can't remember one of those. <laughs> the real, is this the real Caesar's palace? Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, no. Okay. I think my croutons are probably done. And you know what? I need to I get my romaine mine. lettuce out of the um oh i yeah. think these are oh these are perfect. i've already pre-chopped my uh my romaine it's right there and i'm just whisking in my um my oil into my um into my what am i saying uh my oil into my dressing <laughs> that's what i'm saying and i think i've just gone and used olive oil for for both now this recipe that i've made i uh I'm just, wing, I sometimes wing it, but I don't normally uh, wing Caesar salad dressing just because I, you know, I've never really made a Caesar have salad. That. I've never, I've never made Caesar salad. This is my first Caesar oh. salad. Um, but you know, one of the best Caesar salads I've had, and you thinking about, you talking about the, the warm Caesar salad was a grilled Caesar salad. It was at a restaurant in Asheville, North Carolina. I thought I was going to die. It was so oh, good. Yeah. But they grilled, uh, you know, over a grill, um, yeah. the, the romaine leaves and yeah. it was, it was, you know, so the leaves were charred and it was just absolutely out damn standing. So yeah. Linda says, I love Caesar dressing. Yeah, I know. It's so amazing. And girls, mine is going to be a little bit lighter because I'm using a 2% Greek yogurt. Um, yeah. and then Joe Dale says, I've been eating so much romaine this week. I'm on a wrap kick. I know girl. Oh my God. Joe Dale is another one. She's the one who introduced me to this E2M program that is absolutely outstanding. Oh, right. it's such an incredibly, incredibly pure and clean way to fuel and feed your body. Mm. And it's amazing how, uh, since I've been on this program and, you know, been uh, really stringent with it, um, just certain things I've noticed about, like, like my body as far as, like, aches and pains that are gone. And I, yeah. and I eat very healthy. Everybody knows that. I've been eating healthy since I was 20 years old. Yeah. But, there's just, but this is taking it up about two notches.
Oh, and, wow. Um, awesome. Yeah, if you're interested, anybody interested in, in, in learning more about this program, reach out to me. Hey, Salmon. Oh, my God. Salmon. Y'all, a, a few days ago, I, I, I couldn't... Pictures. I couldn't find salmon. I'm like, I, I'm ran, ransacking my entire house. And I, you know, and I, I had had an Airbnb guest. He leaves at five in the morning. He doesn't get home till 8 p.m. And so, and then my other Airbnb guest, he had left at 6.30 that morning. Well, I got up around eight and I had seen her. I'd been met, messing with her all morning, you know, then I leave to go somewhere and damn, if I couldn't find her, I'm like, oh, where? And I no. text these guys. I'm like, hey, did y'all happen to come back? And they're like, no. So I'm like, she's got to be in the house. And her little GPS said she was in the house. She's got so a GPS? I, yeah, girl. Yeah. Because when she was about six months old, she accidentally fell off my back deck and was missing for three and a half days. And those are some of the worst three and a half days of my yeah. entire life. Seriously. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so... Um, I get home and sure enough, she's at the top of the stairs, you know, waiting for me. And I'm like, well, you know, so I don't know where she was hiding. I checked all of her hiding places and couldn't find them. Well, yeah. then, um, then it was like yesterday or day before, whenever it was, I happened to be in, in, in the, um, and I saw her little Paul hanging over the railing. She's damn, she, what she does is she climbs on the shelf and then jumps on top of the refrigerator and then from the refrigerator jumps over on top because that railing's up near the ceiling. She's up there every day now. And I'm like, Sammy, what your ass doing up there? My cats, yeah, see, I'll, I love I'll your the cats. camera here. See up there where <laughs> oh, the cats will get up there as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know if you saw it. So I came downstairs yesterday. And yeah. Maze's head was in the watering can. Did you see that video that I posted? I yes, my I guess. Oh, my God. I love that my, video. My cat has got his her head in a watering can. And she's moving the watering can around. And I, so, so she takes her. So I grabbed my camera. And I got a little bit of a video. But the funny thing was that I took two because then she did it again. She stuck her head in it again. And I'm thinking, oh, there must be a bug or something in there. There was nothing in there. By the time she got her head out the second time, there was nothing in there. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she was just being curious. I'll tell you, I don't know if I'll ever buy jarred uh, Caesar salad dressing again. Well, this, this is, is yeah. Amazing dressing. Yes. I my croutons. It says four minutes, but I think I'm going to, I think I might stop them now and take them out. Yeah, mine are definitely done. They're very yeah. nice and crispy with that nice pillowy consistency in the middle. Yes. Mm. Joe Gell says she's thing. got a new perch. Yeah, girl, she does. Yeah. Oh, my God. These are amazing, y'all. These are my God, crispy. These are amazing. Yeah. These are so good. And, you know, you can make them as big or as small as you right. want. Yeah. I'm going to just let mine cool mm. for just a minute. Oh. So and, let uh, me uh, grab a plate. Yeah, yeah, so we're having to deal with our cords again today, but hopefully yeah. <laughs> by the 26th when we resume the show, we will have our earbuds back and working again. Well, I'm going to have a new computer. I just oh, I took the nice. brain before this happened. And, I, and, you know, and this is the crazy thing. And if you have followed along on this, you will know and I will tell you. I have procrastinated on this and I don't know why. It's not a money factor. I actually have actual cash to buy my computer with. It, again, um, it just uh -huh. seems like a big task. So right. I haven't done it. I've, I, I keep thinking, oh, I've got other things to do. Graham and I have other things to do because I'm not going to go out and buy one by myself. Look at this apron. Oh, by the way. Okay, this is the... So look at this beautiful apron that Stephanie uh, Stephanie had made for me. Yeah. And oh my gosh, I was jumping up and down for joy when this came in the mailbox. And actually, I she love it, girl. Me and say, Did you check? Oh, and, and yeah, you know, you know I text her. Does. I'm in New York. And I'm like, girl, you need to check. Yo ass needs to check your mail. <laughs> we check our mail. We check our mail every two or three days, right? Because normally yeah. there's nothing in there. Yeah, you know, I know. We to, have, you know, we have to walk up the street. No, that's not the big deal. But it's just out of sight, out of mind, right? Once upon a time, right. everybody used to get their mail delivered to their house, and now it's right. the block. So I, you know, know. I, don't, I don't check it every day. And then Stephanie's like, "Go oh, check your mail. Did you check your mail?" And I'm like. Nope. Well, you know, because I got a notification as soon as it was delivered to your mailbox. Yeah. And that was like either the day or two days before. And, and I didn't want to say anything. I was like, 
<sighs> I want it to be a surprise. I want it to be a surprise. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> so I know. I'm glad you I, love it, Siobhan. It's so I'm glad you, you love it. Yes, yes. I'm going to add a little bit more and, lemon juice. You know, um, so my sister-in-law has this machine where she pressed, um, you know, pressed the logo. So she created this apron, and then she created these T-shirts. And I yeah. had her do them, well, not the, the apron, I've had the apron for three years, but I had her, I was like, you know, I had, I had everything sent to her house mm. and, uh, and then said, this is what I want. Mm. This is her logo. Oh. This is blah. I'm glad that you love it, Siobhan. I love it. And I picked red oh because gosh. you are fire, girl. You are fire. Fire. Yeah. It's so funny because I, I, uh, for part of a costume that I have, I have a red cape. And it says on the back, big red, and it's got, it's all in yellow. So I actually have a matching cape to go with this. Um, I, I wanna, love I'm, it. I I'm love gonna, that. I'm going to, I'm going to test one of my crispy croutons. Crispy crouton, girl, you're oh, a little. I, I know, it. I hear that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds awesome. All right. What All right. Are, are we ready to, to dress yeah. our salads? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to pour a little bit of this dressing. I better spoon it out because this is dressing for probably a whole Are you going to, um, you know what I was thinking that I might do? I am going to chop up my romaine lettuce. Or not chop it up, but I'm going to slice it up because that's, so it, not not oh. that it's like in the full leaf leaf oh, form. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. no, no. I didn't do the full leaf form. I, uh, yeah. I chopped, uh, I chopped mine. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I just, so much prefer. I have just added, now I am eating this whole bowl for lunch. Uh -huh. And I have just mixed this in. I think I actually want to take a little bit more of that dressing because my God. And then I'm going to add. I'm almost done with every with all with the final editing of my cookbook. Oh, almost nice. done. Yes, Yay. almost done. Mm -hmm. And I've actually incorporated some of the recipes that we've created on our show. I've seen yeah. That. Yes. All right. So. All right. I'm just going to. You know, I could probably just like sprinkle some of this on and then do a little toss. Yes. And I also. I'm going to take a picture I'm going to take a picture of this too. Don't forget to take a picture. Oh, yeah. Boop. Let's toss. I probably should have okay. a bowl. So here's what this looks like. Here's what mine looks like. I am eating this whole bowl oh, nice. of salad. There it is there. I'm going to take a picture of it as well. And again, we'll put this on the, uh, we'll put this on our, uh, on the page. Yes. All right. Let me take a yummy. And let's take Ooh, a picture of that. This looks amazing. Gorgeous dressing as well. Yeah. And. Okay, I'm just gonna. And my croutons. Got to get my hold of my croutons. I haven't. Ooh, this looks amazing. Good lord, okay. this looks awesome. All right, look, I'm. And I'm, just, I'm, I'm just probably gonna add a little bit more cracked black pepper because you know, like when you go to a restaurant, they wait. Would you like some cracked black pepper? It's like yes, please. Did you ever see that Saturday Night Live skit about the pepper? Um, I don't know. Tell tell it's us about old. it. It's old. It's like 1990s. And this guy, okay. he's like, would you like the black pepper? But it's a huge pepper mill. Like the pepper mill's like this long. Uh huh. And he's just cracking oh. up the whole skit. Because he's like, do you want the fresh pepper? And, you know, and then he's cracking up because, of course, he's doing it under his leg and he's doing it behind his back. And the whole, the whole skit, everybody's laughing because he's gone totally off script with this black pepper. But yeah, that's, I am that's the, the best. Yeah, and I'm the person as well who says, okay, 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 not yet, not yet. Are you done now? Because I'll put black pepper on almost anything. I'm squeezing a little bit more lime and I'm I did the add same a, little bit more, a little bit more pepper here. Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, I'm picking this up and I'm eating it. <laughs> About to lose mm. my... Mm, 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 mm. Uh, uh, uh. Mm-hmm. This is so good. All right. I haven't tasted mine yet. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Here we go. Yum, 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 yum. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I'm hearing you crunch, too. Wow. 
They're not good? These croutons are mind-blowing. I'm serious, y'all. These croutons are mind-blowing. Mm-hmm. You can't tell that it's... Yeast. Yeah, and you can't tell that it's tofu. You know what I'm saying? It's just, a, mm-hmm. it's just a crispy, pillowy... This is mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, a crispy, pillowy, flavorful nugget of yumminess. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. I, at, I just looked up and both of us are our heads are in the bowl. I'm like, this, this is wow. this is riveting. Our heads are in the bowl. We're both mowing down on uh, on domain. <laughs> wow. wow, this has been awesome. This is great. Yeah, it has been. Mm-hmm. Guys, thank you so much for joining yeah. us today. Yes, I hope thank you guys you had fun us. and learned something and had some laughter. Yes, yes. yes. Jodell says, get it. We be getting it, Joe Dale. We be getting it. Yes. So stay tuned. We're going to take a two-week hiatus, and then we're going to be back uh, the last week in August. Yeah. I guess, right. I guess you're week. right. I guess you're right. Yeah. The last Thursday in, um, in oh, August. Well, why aren't we doing one on August 5th? Oh, right. You're away. Are you away? I'm away. I, we leave right. for a wedding on Wednesday. Right. That's right. It's you're away. Wednesday. So it's So it's actually three weeks, three times off and then we resume on august 26th so the last thursday in august and again we have a very special guest um she's a a mindset coach and a life coach as well she's all excited when i text her about would you be up for doing this 10 minute laughter she goes count me in sign me up i'm like cool yeah so we know we like her We, we know we like those types of peeps who are open to anything embracing it that's right embracing that's right. life embracing yeah. it yeah so yeah. i'm really excited for three weeks time and to resume our our cooking again we got lots of stuff uh we got lots of lots of big plans coming up for uh, yes we do our little food therapy in the mm-hmm. future so stay tuned and come along for the ride that's what I'm yeah saying. guys come along for the ride hey and if anybody on here wants to be a guest reach out to us we'd love hey. to have you you pick the recipe and then we three create what you choose. Mm-hmm. I love. I mean, I love it. I'm so glad we've started doing that. I hate that mm-hmm. we didn't get to do it last week, but uh, you know that was anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, all right, Thank guys, you all for joining us, well, and have a great August. Yes. Have a great rest of your summer. We'll talk soon. Later. Bye.